Hi guys, thanks so much for stopping by the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to wear the Crowex Racing Suit logos on any outfit using a component transfer glitch. So this does work with just components. You are not required to merge anything, but I'm actually going to be doing some merge outfits using this just to give you examples of things that you can do and also show you how you can remove the glitchy top that shows up underneath. Obviously, as always, I work a lot with T and she just started a YouTube channel. She actually found this. So I'll leave the link to her YouTube channel in the description. Please make sure you subscribe to her and check her out. Also on Instagram, I'll leave her Instagram too. And let's just hop right into this and I'll show you how to get these specific logos on to outfits just using components. So the first thing I do need to know is that you need to be in a crew because you're going to be adding a crew logo onto this special top in order to get this outfit and this combination. So the first outfit I'm going to be wearing here, just going to run through three outfits to give you examples and then show you how we kind of fix them when we're on female, is I'm just going to be doing some merge pants with just a merge, or sorry, just a regular top and then also the components to wear the logos. So in order to get these Crowex or Limpati, whatever the hell they're called, racing logos on your outfit, you're going to put on this heavy strike vest. Then you're going to go to crew emblem, which is in the top section as well, and you're going to put on that back crew emblem. So this combination here of this vest with this crew emblem on the back of it will give you this racing logo. It only gives you one logo. This isn't a me method to merge logos, but what you can do is merge other tops on to this logo. So that's why you can wear it with any outfit. Fit. And the merge component that I showed in a previous video showed the camo muscle sports tank. That's actually the top that I am using to merge any top onto these outfits. And I'll show you that once I show you all three of the outfits that I did save to transfer over to give you some examples. And then I'll also show you what it look like, looks like when they actually merge over. So the three outfits I'm showing you here are going to be one to merge some team pants in any top. And the next one is going to be some pink joggers with a pink hoodie. And then the next one or the last one is just going to be some black stockings and then a tank top, which we're going to merge the logos onto. I do want to note that if you're doing this with something that's bulky, like a hoodie or like joggers, which I actually wanted to show you in this video, it's really difficult to see the logos because they stay pretty, I guess, relatively close to the skin. And you know that if you're wearing joggers or hoodies, those are pretty bulky and baggy on the female character. So you might not be able to see them well. So once you do have those three outfits saved, which I just showed you, just do whatever component transfer glitch is available and transfer these over to the female character. Now, because we're merging, which again, it's not required to merge for this, you can just do components only. But because we're merging, I'm going to set up the three outfits here that I am going to merge and then show you those examples and then also show you how to remove the glitchy top that you get when you do create these outfits. So the first stop that we're going to do is going to be some team pants and then we also had a merge top so you can select any top with this. So the first top I'm just going to show you with the team pants is actually going to be one of the crop t-shirts. It's going to be the black one. And then I'll show you how the shirt glitches through that and also why it's smart to maybe choose a different shirt. <laughs> I'll show you at the end. And what I'm actually going to be showing you is how I created the outfit that you see in the thumbnail or the one that you may be seeing on my Instagram if you're coming from Instagram to see that. And then the second outfit here is going to be the pink hoodie and then also the pink jogger. So what we're merging together with that is going to end up being some yellow or gold stuntman shoes and then yellow and pink racing gloves. And this is the example that I was telling you is going to end up being kind of like actually really difficult to see the logos on which might not be a good idea to use those bulky items with this specific set of logos here for the female character and in order to achieve that to merge I have shown it in so many videos but I'll run through it quickly here just in case you wanted to create this exact outfit or just something like a variation of what I'm doing we're going to do the telescope bodysuit glitch and if you're not familiar with that basically what you do is you choose any of the suit style of outfits which are like deadline suits racing suits um, the biker suits or anything like any of the air racing suits you choose one of those suits you save it and then you apply one of the body suits in your closet at the store or whatever and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to glitch this so we're left with just the shoes and then we can change it to any top and then you just got some standard shorts on that so the first outfit that I'm doing here is going to be the gold stuntman shoes I'm going to save that in the slot that's directly after the outfit I wanted to merge it with and then you're going to run up to the telescope 
scope hold right on your d-pad to stop but not look through it after you have on that bodysuit and then you're going to select your saved outfit that had those shoes the stuntman shoes deadline whatever outfit you were doing walk away you'll see the mask glitch under the helmet or hat whatever you have on and then you just want to change the top so i'm going to do this again for the next outfit it's actually going to feature some yellow deadline shoes with the yellow and the black gloves and that's actually literally the same exact thing so you're just saving the deadline outfit either before or after whatever slot you're merging it with select the bodysuit run to the telescope hold right on your d-pad till you stop but not look through it then you select your saved outfit that had those shoes that you wanted to separate from the rest of the suit walk away and then you'll see that the hat or the helmet whatever you have has a mask glitch underneath of it and then you just change the top you have to make sure you change the top first so i'm just going to be selecting another racing jersey here to capture those racing gloves that i wanted to wear so now what we're going to be doing is i'm going to go into cricket cop i'm going to show you the three outfits that i did create and save here i'm going to show you the results after i merge them and then i'm going to show you how to create the outfit that you do see in the thumbnail I'm also going to be showing you how you can remove that glitchy top that you'll see when we get into Crooked Cop from most shirts that you can either merge or components you can put together for these logos. So when you do start Crooked Cop, you're going to set that to player owned clothing and then you need to invite some randoms or invite some friends. I will show you the three outfits here. The first one, you're going to end up seeing the glitchy shirt, which is a blue digital shirt, which is glitching through a black tank top with the stockings. You're also going to see the hoodie and the joggers I told you about, which is really, really, really difficult to see the logos, though you can see a little bit of yellow in there. And then you're also going to see that crop shirt with the team pants. And you'll see here... Um, when I show you the hoodie after I show you the stockings why you can't remove the glitchy top from that cropped shirt and why I ended up changing it for the thumbnail and for the outfit that I showed on Instagram. So once you do have the outfit merged or selected that you want it in Crooked Cop, hit ready to play, load into the job, you're going to actually go to style accessories gear add a rebreather and then quit the job through your phone once you do this you're going to load back into a gt online session where i'm going to show you now how to remove this glitchy top so as you see here we have this glitched blue digital top the first thing you need to do is save this outfit i always say save it as soon as you exit crooked cop because you don't want to have to keep doing that over and over again and then if you do go into the top section and you try to change the top you'll see that everything glitches away the logo the top you selected and the racing gloves for this outfit but if you're just wanting to glitch away that glitchy blue digital top go down to utility vest select that first utility vest on the list and then remove it and then you are now left with just either the top you merged or the component as well as the racing logos which you can see on the back here the big crow x logo you've got some logos on the arms a couple of on the front and also down the side of the legs at the bottom and then you can customize the outfits you can typically add anything that you could normally add with whatever top you're wearing that includes scarves accessories a parachute you can even add armor on this if you'd like to wear the armor with it so this is the first outfit now this was the second one that i was mentioning you can kind of see the crow x logo on the back of the hoodie but it's really difficult to see the rest of those logos for this specific logo on the rest of the outfit so if you just wanted to add like a little flare of something onto your outfit or maybe you're wearing different bottoms or a different top with these joggers still definitely go ahead and put it if you wanted an outfit like this but it doesn't look the best with baggy clothing you also cannot go into the top section and go to utility vest and remove the glitchy shirt this way because you cannot normally wear the utility vest with this top you also cannot do the heist coverall slash mission glitch which the males can do to remove the glitchy bibs for this shirt on the female character. I tried it a bunch, it did not work. So you're stuck with whatever glitches through for an outfit like that. But if you looked at my thumbnail or saw my post on Instagram, that first outfit that you originally seen with the team pants and the cropped t-shirt, I switched to this tucked t-shirt instead, saved it back over that slot that I was gonna merge it with, and then I just did the same trick. I merged it using Crooked Cop. I put on any random, literally any utility vest will work it back off and then you'll see that the glitchy shirt is removed and then i'm left with whatever top i either merged or whatever component that i had with it if you do like the glitchy top going through it by all means it is up to you to wear that i think it would probably look good with some blue joggers or even something 
I don't know, like blue bikini bottoms, just something that matches the blue digital, but I prefer it without it. And then, like I said, depending on what top you're wearing, you can add scarves, you can add accessories, anything to make this outfit a bit more, more unique and how you'd like it. But thanks again, shouts to T for finding this. This is just probably one of the many random ass things we'll be finding as we continue to dive deep into this glitch, testing new combinations and testing new items. So don't forget you can wear this specific logo with any outfit because you can merge anything onto it. This is not a method to merge the logos, it's a method to merge other tops and items onto this logo. But thanks so much for stopping by. Please check the description for all the important information. Drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon with more glitch videos.